Start on hands and knees. Scoop your abdominals up and shift your weight back to flexion. With an exhale, lift your abdominals, shift your weight back towards your heels, and then inhale, lengthen forward to neutral. Exhale, scoop back, draw back towards the wall behind you. Inhale, lengthen. Extend one leg, shift back into the heel, get a little calf stretch. Repeat a few times. Find your center, neutral spine, lift and lower a very long weighted leg. Use your glute and your hamstring to lift just above neutral hip. Circle the leg around. Right from the hip, circle. Reverse the direction of the circle. Stabilize the spine, shoulder girdle, head, pelvis. Exhale, scoop the abdominals up, knee to chest, extend. As you extend back, find length, find neutral. Do not go into extension, just find the length and, the length and strength through the front body as you extend. Switching sides, tuck the toes under and shift back and forward a few times, getting a stretch through your plantar fascia on that foot all the way through the calf and lift and lower, going just into extension at the hip on this leg, finding the stability, length, and strength through your torso, circling right from the hip joint, stability through the pelvis, which stabilizes the spine all the way through the shoulder girdle rib cage, reversing the direction of the circle, keep it small so it can be controlled and stable through the torso, Knee to nose, knee to chest. Let's say knee to chest. Knee to nose does a whole lot of neck movement. Let's go knee to chest, scoop up to make space for the thigh. Remember as you reach back, you're going for length through the spine, not extension. Come up, give yourself a little wrist and forearm stretch. Take a few different directions with your hands. Roll out your wrists. Shake them out. Flick them out. And then come back onto hands and knees. Fix your hair. <laughs> hand behind the head and rotate both directions. So with the hand behind the head, really press the head into the palm. Your hand is not pushing your head forward. Your head is pushing your hand back. Feel free to take this a little bit slower and then make it a little bit bigger with that rotation. I like to hold this one for a few breaths. You could also just move through it. So the head pushes back into the hand. Let the scapula move on the rib cage. This one's awesome as an anti-tech neck exercise. So getting the back of the neck to activate with the hand behind the head. Coming into a full forearm plank, find the lift, the strength through the front body, shoulder blades wrap towards the front of the body, gazes just slightly forward, like towards your fingertips. Give it a rest. Put your elbows down, pin them to the floor, shift your hips back to your heels, and you get a stretch through your lats, your triceps, 